already, Hasa. So now that we created the method to pretty much drop the balls from the top of the screen, we just have to make a real quick animation, essentially saying how often do you want to do that. And we'll set it somewhere like two seconds and see how that plays out. So we're going to put it right inside in it shooter scene because as soon as the user pretty much opens the scene, we want the balls to start dropping as soon as the level begins. So I'll add a comment, say, drop the balls from the top and I'll make a drop balls variable looking good. All right. So of course it's action. So SK action. And we actually want to create a sequence. Now we want to do this because what's going to happen is we're going to call the method and part two of it is we're just going to wait for a certain duration. So drop the ball and then wait for two seconds. So I know it's kind of a weird sequence, really short one, but it is a sequence. So for the actions, SK action run block since we're running a block of code and inside here put your little curly braces as well clean this up a little bit actually how do I want to do this all right so create ball node right there now let me make sure I got my crap in the right place Clean this up a little bit. All right, so that's the first action. And the second one is SK action, wait for duration. How long do you want to wait for? Well, we'll just say it two right now, even though it's probably gonna be pretty slow. And now actually, let me just tighten this up. So many braces and brackets and crap. All right, so now what we did is we just created a sequence. What we have to do after this is actually just kick it off or run it. So self run action sk action repeat action so we're going to drop the balls and we're just going to repeat that and first of all what action do you want to repeat well how about that one called drop balls that we just created how many times do you want to repeat it and remember up here we added an enemy count and that's how many enemies we have in other words that's how many times we're going to repeat it so we can just throw an enemy count right there now after this I'm just gonna call completion nil all right so everything is looking good created the method to drop the balls or this pretty much creates a ball this pretty much is a really simple sequence that says call that method then wait two seconds so they aren't just appearing all at once and this is just an animation that kicks it off. So let's go ahead and run this now and hopefully you know, fudge anything up. Probably did though. Tap it and as soon as it happens, the balls start falling. And of course our dude can fire them. All right, so pretty sweet. And since they already have collision detection set up, if you guys notice, whenever he hits one, I'll get one eventually. They are impacted, but it would be cool if we had them explode or something like that. And another thing I want to point out is this. If we go to did move to view, the very first thing we can call, I saw that those balls were falling kind of quick and that is, well, realistic in the real world, but I want to slow it down a bit since I can, you know, it's just a game. This is my world. So in the phys physics world, in other words, the world that we're creating, we just want to change the gravity of it. And of course, the gravity is a force, and that is a vector make, oh, I'm on it, and zero, we don't want to change it in the x direction, but we do want to tweak it to like negative 1.2, we'll see how that is. Now again, negative is down, actually if you have a, a vector like, um, if you set it like at 1, they're actually going to flow up, and we don't want that, so make sure your y direction is negative. So they actually fall down. And that might be a little slow, but it's actually pretty good just for teaching. I don't want them too fast. All right, so we are now shooting these balls. Pretty awesome. But of course, I want these balls to start blowing up and some cool effects. Ton of stuff to do. So for now, 
that's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.